Let's talk about that radioactivity. If we have a half-life of a plutonium isotope, it's 24,360 years. Now think about what that means. It takes over 24,000 years for this plutonium to decrease in amount by half. So we started out with 10 grams, we'd get 5 grams. So if 10 grams of plutonium is released into the atmosphere by a nuclear accident, how much of the plutonium will still be present after 55,000 years? Yes, there'd still be some left. So again, we have our model. It's told us that the initial amount is 10 grams when T is 0. And it has told us the half-life. So I start out with 10. I have 5 left in 24,360 years. So again, in order to answer the question, I need to find K. And when I find it, it should be negative because I'm decreasing. So I have 5 equals 10 e to the K times 24,360 years. So divide by 10. So in the other problems where we were doubling, now I'm getting half, and again, that ratio here is a half. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. That cancels. Divide by 24,360, and that's going to be our K. So we have the natural log of 1 divided by 2, that's my numerator, divided by 24,360. What does that mean? What is that EE? -E? Well, that's that exponential notation, so I have negative 2.845 times 10 to the negative fifth, a very small value. It's small because it's not declining very rapidly. Now again, I would leave that in my calculator. So I have this model. And it says how much would be present after 55,000 years. So I'm going to let T be 55,000. So again, bringing up my calculator, this was my K value, left it in there. I'm going to multiply that times 55,000. I'm going to raise that. That's going to be my power on E. And then I'm going to multiply times 10. So my amount should be about 2.09 grams. So after 55,000 years, I started out with 10 grams, and I'm left with just 2 grams. Let's look at our last example. Carbon-14 dating is a way to tell how old some things are by measuring the amount of carbon-14 in whatever is dead, basically. So we have a piece of wood that's found to contain 30% of the carbon-14 that it originally had. When did the tree die? Well, let's see. We have a half-life of 5,730 years of carbon-14. It didn't tell us what they started out with, right? So we have this model. And we don't know that. Hmm. Well, how about let's let that just be C for carbon 14. And that's when time is zero. So half life is 5,730 years. Well, what is Q? Well, if we started out with C and the half life, then it would be half of C. I know that looks strange. But remember, when we started doing the division, things divided out. So let's see if we can find K. 
And would it be negative or positive? Should be negative because we're decreasing. So we have Q to be one half of what we started out with. Q naught is what we started out with. E to the K times T. Right, that was that relationship when we had one half of what we started out with, time was that. Now let's divide both sides by C. Look at what happens. We have one half equals E to the K times 5,730. That's, that. That's why it's okay when we double if we don't know what we started out with because it's going to divide out. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to have the natural log of one half equals K times 5,730. And let's solve for K. So we're going to bring up our calculator. So we have the natural log of 1 divided by 2, again, because it's that half-life. Going to divide by 5,730. And we do get a negative value. in that exponential notation again. So what is our model? Q equals, we're going to call that C for Q naught, E to the negative 1.2097 times 10 to the negative fourth times T. That's our model. What were we supposed to do? We're supposed to find when did the tree die, meaning what is T when we have 30% of the carbon-14 that it originally had. Well, this was the original amount. So if I have 30% of that, that means Q is 0.3 times C. Solve for T. So we're going to put that in there. 0.3 times C equals C e to the negative 1.2097 times 10 to the negative fourth T. What's going to happen? Those are going to divide out. We're going to take the natural log of both sides. So this is a very repetitive process, which is sometimes good. It doesn't make it difficult. We're going to divide both sides by that. And solve for t. Okay, so I have my k value in my calculator, which is what I want to divide by. So I'm going to take the natural log of 0.3, close my parentheses, and say divide by answer. You don't have to use that answer key, I just think it's very convenient and punch enter. So it's going to be 9,900 and about 53 years old. That's how old the, the piece of wood is. So again, you have your model. You're basically solving for K and answering some other questions.